What's up everyone, it's Troy at Area 52 with another Friday used gun drop video. These guns are for Friday, July 26th. We've got another stacked week, three tables full. If you need to know anything about these items, the information you need are in the description below. You can click any link. You can call us, text us, check out our site. Everything you need to know, we got you taken care of. We're open 11 to seven Monday through Friday, 10 to five on Saturday. This is for our Burlington location. Our Greensboro location will be open in the next 30 to 60 days. We're super excited about it and we've got more information coming about that. Getting into these guns this week, we've got a Smoke Gray GSG 16 in 22 LR. We've got a Mint slash Tiffany Blue, whatever you wanna call it, GSG 16 and 22. Cheaper than new, they go super quick. Right here, we've got a Delton DTI 15. It has a full length rail, great starter AR budget friendly, made well, made in North Carolina as well. Another North Carolina made, we've got a Ruger AR556. Funny thing about this one is it is in 300 blackout. Um, ambidextrous charging handle, Magpul furniture, does have an enforced pressure light on it as well, and Magpul flip up sights. Good setup for a 300 blackout. Next up is another Ruger AR556. This one is actually chambered in 556 and really good setup. Has a tactical Vortex Strike Eagle on it. All around good setup with a Magpul stock, great condition. Right here is the Eagle Arms AR15 with a Leupold. This one chambered in 223 Wild. Got the FDE, another Magpul stock, good setup. Next up is a Palmetto PA15. This is chambered in 556, does come with an EOTech holographic sight, Magpul flip ups, and an Olight pressure light. And again, Magpul furniture, very good condition. Right here, we've got a Great Lakes 223 Wild AR15 pistol in plum. No brace, you can add it if you want. Stainless barrel, good condition. Right here, we've got a Zestava Arms ZPAP 92 pistol. Excellent unfired condition with the original box. Hinge dust cover, black painted wood furniture. I really like these things. Just high quality AK pistol. Thing I hate about these, not these, but these mags. I hate a bolt hold open AK mag. Really good AK pistol. Here's another cool one this week. This is a CMMG MK10 Banshee. This is chambered in 10 mil. Um, you don't see a lot of these. This one's in excellent condition. Don't expect it to last long. Ambidextrous charging handle as well. And these are just super well made, really smooth. And 10 millimeter is really cool. So don't expect it to be here super long either. Moving on to the next table. On this next table, we've got a really cool one this week. This is a Norinco Uzi Sporter model. Weird thing about this is it is labeled correctly on the outside of the package, but the inside is a IMI Timberwolf box that was an Action Arms import. That was an Israeli Pump 357 Magnum rifle that I actually would love to acquire. So that was pretty cool to open that up and see this. As far as the Uzi, really good setup, made exactly like the Israeli Uzis. It does have the sporter stock, but you can add the folding Uzi stock for relatively cheap. And this is a Narenko made Chinese Uzi clone. They're super popular and collectible too. Imported by um, ACC Intrac. So the same with a lot of Mac 90s, really cool. I think my favorite thing about it is the reversible box being a Timberwolf. That was super cool. Right here, we've got a budget friendly Odie Green Rossi 22 Clinker Semi Auto 22 rifle. Next up, we've got a Savage Axis and 6.5 Creedmoor. Really nice Vortex Crossfire 2 on it. Deer season's coming up. And that's a good setup right there for a budget friendly deer rifle with a scope already on it. Right here, we've got a budget friendly Maverick 88 12 gauge 28 inch barrel. Ventilated rib, that's like the field model. Right here, we've got a really nice Remington Versa Max. This is a really nice Remington Semi Auto shotgun. Does have the extended tube and does shoot three and a half. Very versatile Versa Max in camo, excellent condition. Got an all black, excellent condition KSG in 12 gauge right here. Next up, we've got a really cool Weatherby Centurion. Centurion. Semi automatic 12 gauge. This one does have the original box and it is just a really cool box. 
anything with the original box preserved is just, I automatically want it regardless of what gun it is. The gun is also preserved extremely well. Like I said, semi-automatic 12 gauge, comes with a manual. Shotgun is just, I mean, it's pretty much a semi-auto, just basic 12 gauge. It says Weatherby Centrion right there. Polished wood looks really good. And the barrel is, looks like a ventilated 26 inch barrel in like new or new old stock condition. Really cool. Right here, got a Springfield M1 Grand, chambered in 30 alt 6 It's a super low serial number, six digit, so that's probably a 1941. Just like any other M1 Grand, has some history behind it, but for its age and overall really good condition with the military sling, great shooter and an early model, which is collectible. Moving on to the third table, handgun table we got some cool items this week starting with a basic glock 19 gen 3 basic glock 17 gen 3 we've got a zev oz 9c does have a trijicon sro which is really nice and it does come with the original box and the extra frame which is a little more compact and a mag for that extra frame really nice setup excellent quality pistol by zev and something you definitely don't see every day on used gun friday the sro is 5 moa also north american arms mini revolver and 22 mag got a beretta px4 storm it's the most compact model really nice though 15 plus one capacity and this one is in nine millimeter. Below that, we've got two equalizers this week. Both look basically unfired. Um, this one comes with the Crimson Trace Red Laser, grip safety and thumb safety. This one has no laser, grip safety and thumb safety. Excellent condition, optic ready, easy rack slide, high capacity. I believe also 15, yep, 15 for these as well. Next up, we've got a Ruger SR 1911, full stainless with the wood grips. It's in 45 auto. The Ruger last week went super quick. And we've got a Kimber stainless lightweight. This is super lightweight. In 45 also, both of those are just regular full size 1911 single stacks. Both in excellent condition with the original box each. Another one that's got the original box is this FNX two tone 45 and 45 ACP. We've got an FNX 45 Tactical with the threaded barrel. This has the original soft case and extra mags, and it does come with a Trijicon RMR in matching FDE, which is really cool. This thing just looks sick. It's in excellent condition. To round it off with the FNs, we've got another FDE 510 Tactical, optic ready threaded barrel, suppressor height sights. It's like new FDE 10 millimeter. Good setup of FNs this week. It might be the thumbnail, I don't know. Next up, another cool one that hasn't been out long is this Canic Terran Tactical Combat with the red dot original box, or I think, was it a hard case? Yeah, original hard case, uh, compensator, and the whole nine. It's got a really good trigger. Uh, the magwell, the brake probably, or the comp probably helps a lot with recoil. <sighs> I guess I expected this from Canic. It just kind of reminds me of all their other like tactical Canics, but like Terran Tactical, I kind of expected it to be a little cooler, but it is what it is. Really cool colorway, and I'm sure it performs pretty well for Canic, and it's got a really good trigger out of the box. So there you go, it's in excellent condition. Next up, we've got a SAR B6 in nine millimeter, Turkish made and imported. And we've got a SAR Arms, which I think is basically the same thing, also Turkish made. And this one is a SAR K2P in nine mil. Safety right here, ambidextrous safety, that's pretty cool. And super budget friendly. Next up, we've got a Smith & Wesson Model 37. That's the Airweight in 38 Special. This is super lightweight. Seeing less and less older Smith & Wesson revolvers. And if you do, they are pretty high. And this is a pretty budget friendly Model 10-5 also in 38 special some wear on it but definitely a great shooter last this week we've got an intratech tech 22 which i just think is super cool it takes ruger 10 22 mags um this one's threaded and has the original box and honestly looking at the gun itself it looks unfired to me and like i said it does have the original box so really cool they stopped making these a long long time ago with the tech nines and everything else intratech went out of business now they're keltech which is why you see them look exactly alike but really cool right there that's going to do it for this week's video we appreciate you all watching please like share and subscribe it means the world to us these guns go out friday morning if you have any questions at all please check the link in the description below and then if you have further questions from that call us text us or stop by we're super excited for our greensboro location and until next week we're out